What's up everybody, it's Cody from Extreme Outfitters today here to talk about vein selection, broadhead pairing, and how to use the Bits and Burger. First we're going to go over Bits and Burger setup. Um, you have a bunch of different clamps you see right here. You got left and you got right helical. Well today for the aero build, we're going to use a right helical. And we'll go later into depth in the video on why we chose the right helical. But just know you have a left or a right or you can even use a straight clamp. I'm a big believer in just putting a little bit of edge on there and get the arrow going a little bit sooner out of the gate of the bow. Um, we're going to talk about the setup. So when we're putting our vein on, typically I like to mark my clamps as you can see right there. I have two different lines for two different setups. We're going to be putting them on one. And for fitment, we have these dials right here. You can see this thing spins and basically this, if we go to the left, we're going to more than likely be using the left clamp. We go to the right, we're going to be using the right clamp. If we're pretty much straight on, you can go a little bit either way, left or right, for a straight clamp. But for this build, we're going to be going to the right. So I'm doing what we call a dry fit. A dry fit is just making sure we're going to get proper adhesion from the vein to the arrow. And as I'm setting this up, I'm just making notes, I'm marking everything. And I'm actually going to lock this thing down now. I'm going to take my Allen key. I'm going to take the right Allen key. And I'm going to snug it down. So I'm just snugging it. I'm not cranking it down yet. I'm just making sure we got proper fitment. Alright, everything looks good on this. So now we're going to crank it down. And from years of using this thing, uh, it's just simple, precise, and it's very repeatable. Uh, you can pretty much lock this thing down and not really have to worry about it again. Uh, there are other uh, jigs on the market that are highly capable of doing that, but for the price, at around 100 bucks, the bits gets it done. It's rock solid. You're not going to break this thing at all. And it's just, like I said, repeatable and simple. We like that. We pretty much never touch this down here. I've never really had to move this left or right. Um, depending on the, the actual arrow shaft diameter, whether it's something like this 27 series arrow, going to this 4 mil shaft. You might have to play around with that a little bit, not too much. You don't have to go so severe like you would on the top. But like I said, I'm just doing a dry fit right now. And we're going to go over vein selection. So you can see we have very many, a lot of links in veins. You have, you know, 2 inch veins which are something even smaller than what we're using right now. And these are really good for 3D or mechanical broadheads. You know, some guys that want a little bit zippier of a setup. So you can see the a little bit of difference right there. Some of them might have a little bit higher profile in the height of the vein versus the length as well, so it gives you a little bit more steering capability. This is a two inch, what I just showed right there. We got a 225. And then this is probably one of my favorites, these two actually right here. This is a Max Stealth, it comes in around 2.6 inches. Um, slender looking profile, it's got some grooves on it. I think that helps with the steering as well. And then you see the Tack, which is a 275. And this is very smooth on the side. There's not really any dimpling. There's very, very small dimples, if anything. But this is a very rigid and stiff vein, and I like that because it doesn't have a lot of give, per se, versus this one's a little bit more durable, or a little bit more pliable, I should say, in that aspect. Uh, Max Stealth, been running them for years. I love them. Tax have been running them for the last year, so I love them as well. Then we have our longer vein, and you can see the difference between the 275 and the 375. It's one inch, the height profile is pretty much the same on that. The angle looks very much the same as well. You can see right there. And I use this mainly for like a target shaft, mainly for indoors. I won't run this outside because this is really going to get tossed around in the wind. You can see I have a 27 build up with this and this is just a three fletch. I typically run that for indoors. I'm not shooting broadhead so I'm trying to have the most whip on that arrow I should say or the most rotation I can get off of it to have a very forgiving setup. Alright, so we're going to talk about prepping this vein now. All we're going to do is swipe down on the bottom of this. And this is a primer pin. You have to use these on all the tack veins and you have to use these on the max stealth veins. Anything that's uh, like a PM 2.3 from AAE or a Pro Max, um, you have to pretty much wipe those down. The only one you don't have to wipe down is the Plastic Fletch from Elite or from um, AAE, the Plastic Fletch Elite from uh, AAE, and the AAE Hybrid Fan. You don't have to prime those. You can just lick them and stick them is what they call it. So I've wiped that base down, and now I've got my glue. So there's a big misconception with glue. The more glue you put on, the better it's going to stick. It's actually false. We put a little bit of glue. We don't put a lot. We don't want to saturate this thing. 
And again, I'm making sure everything is perfect on this. Got my vein where it's need to be running at, and I'm going to do little beads, as you can see right here. Not a whole lot. I'm not really feeling up too much of the gap. And then you'll see in a close-up of how this vein actually adheres, and there's no really any air bubbles in this sh shaft between the vein itself. So that means I know I've got a good, good bond on here. Leave it on for a few seconds. Turn and burn. Time to do the other one. So for this build, we're doing a four fletch. Uh, the reason why we're doing a four fletch is I think a four fletch is, you know, a little bit more forgiving of a setup and certain broad with certain broadheads. Um, but definitely a fixed blade. I definitely prefer a four fletch with a fixed blade, like you see right here. Whether it's a four blade or a three blade, um, I really dig them on any of the two blade broadheads as well. So this is an Oscut. This is a double bevel broadhead. Um, typically, I run a right helical on everything for hunting for target I'll actually clock the arrow so I will see what it's rotating off the bow without any veins and run at that and the only reason why I do that is I don't want my broadhead or my field tip to be spinning loose as it's flying that can be pretty much detrimental to whatever you're hunting you know so we don't want to have any incidents like that so I will run a right heel on pretty much every hunting shaft I go with I don't have to put a severe helical on anything either um, especially with a four fletch you don't want too much uh, if you get too much, you'll actually have a parachuting effect, and that wind will kind of do something like that with that arrow versus it's supposed to just naturally come out looking pretty, pretty solid. Now, the three fletch, you can get away with a little bit more helical, like you see right here. And don't mind that, I actually had this in my tube, so it's a little bit bent, as you can see. But a pro tip is if you actually get some boiling water and you have the steam from it, this will actually straighten out all those veins and back to where they were originally. So. Three fletch, you can get away with a little bit more helical and a little bit more offset on the vein. All right, we almost got this arrow built. We're going to show you how well it looks in just a minute. Make sure I wipe my vein down. And on this primer pin, we're not pushing down on it. We're actually, what I'll do is I'll actually wipe this thing on my skin to make sure it's wet, and then. I will scrub it down because if you push on the tip of this, you're going to have a bad day because you're going to get soaked with nothing but fluid and then that could have been used to fletch arrows. So we don't want to do that. Making sure we got a good bond. Perfect. And sometimes I will push up on this arrow into this clamp to make sure we're getting all the bond we can get out of it. All right, so. Basically, we went over the bits, how we do the setup. We've gone over some profiles of the veins and which ones pair really well with which broadheads. Uh, other than that, guys, if you want to get into custom arrow building, uh, I'd say get you a Bits and Burger. Check out our online shop at ExtremeOutfitters.com and pair your broadheads up. Like we said, if we're going to go with a fixed blade, we're going to want something a little bit longer. You know, something with a little bit more length, a little bit more capability of steering. Um, and run a four fletch on it. You know, compare, try three fletch versus a four fletch. See which flies better, you know, out of your setup. If we're running mechanical. I'm going to go a little bit shorter because you're pretty much able to because of the ballistic component of it being it's a slimmer style broadhead. So I'm going to run something a little bit smaller, you know, in a three or four fletch, um, like a two inch or two two five. And then for a two blade setup or a three blade setup, I'm still going to go back to either I might can get away with a two two five or like a 2.6 2 or a 2.7 and then last but not least this vein the 375 or anything longer than that I would say even a 3 inch vein I'm pretty much going to put that on an indoor shaft um, fat 25, 23 or 27 series arrow and that pretty much completes every length of vein that we pretty much sell here and what we're doing with it but other than that guys make sure you check us out at extremeoutfitters.com Make sure you like and subscribe and comment on what you'd like to see as well. We're always open to new ideas and whatever we want to see. Until then, have a good day.